Cinderella. The king sent me, said the spy master to the prince grimly. The prince, who had adamantly requested not to be disturbed, found himself in a precarious position. His father's insistence and the spy master's urgency left him in a state of worry. With Cinderella by his side, he reluctantly granted the spy master an audience. The spy master vehemently objected to Cinderella's presence in the meeting. He insisted it was a private matter concerning the king and should remain between them. The prince apologized to his newlywed, and she accepted with a smile. She knew he would tell her eventually. He was so in love with her. After Cinderella left, the spy master checked that nobody was eavesdropping on them and closed the door. Then he said, Your Highness, I'm taking a significant risk by telling you the following. But my duty to my king in this country is heavier than my life, and God help me. The prince, his mind a whirlwind of confusion, remained silent, the tension in the room palpable. Your Highness, a man in love is often blind, he is blind to the simple facts. There is something amiss with Cinderella. I urge you to reconsider your marriage to her. The prince frowned, and then a dangerous look showed on his face. The spymaster continued. Your Highness, considering her story, it doesn't make any sense. One day, an unknown gorgeous woman appears in an expensive cart with expensive clothes and glass court shoes at your party, and she claims she was abused by her stepmother and sister and made to work the house, and they took all her belongings. If so, how did she come to wear such attire? Do you believe a fairy gave it to her? Though nobody worked in her house, the four women lived in a big house and a luxurious lifestyle. Upon investigation, her father disappeared years ago, and no other caregiver took care of them. How did they maintain such a life? Besides, who wears a glass shoe? It takes a skilled glass worker to make them. We don't know anybody who can do it in our kingdom. All the rich people in the party didn't have any. She claims that her magical clothes and carriage disappeared into thin air in the middle of the night, but her glass shoe didn't? She left early and left an expensive shoe on the floor for you to find. How did a shoe she danced all night with fall from her leg at that specific moment? Was it all a deliberate act to get your attention? The prince listened, but the words seemed not to sink in. The spymaster said, Your Highness, I suspect that this is a sophisticated plot to infiltrate the royal family. I urge you to reconsider this affair and let us investigate more. The prince shrugged and said, You are delusional. Cinderella is a sweet girl who went through hard times, and the universe smiled and gives her a helping hand. She is harmless and very beautiful. I feel fulfilled with her and I don't think I will find happiness with another. The spymaster protested, but the prince hushed him. He stood up and said, My decision is final. You are dismissed. The spymaster left in anger, going back to the palace. Cinderella watched the affair from her magic mirror. She had to get rid of this spymaster as soon as possible. As for the prince, he was deep in her grasp, and his turn would come someday. Then she has to take care of the royal family. She looked at the mirror and said, Mirror, who is the most beautiful of all? The mirror said, you princess. She smiled and put the mirror away. She had to prepare a love potion for the prince and report to her masters. The end, this is a warning story, for you may know a Cinderella. Always question people's motives. What do you think? Share it in the comment section. Below, share with friends. Subscribe for more. Yours, The Counselor. S. Cinderella. A Spy's Story. The king sent me, said the spy master to the prince grimly. The prince, who had adamantly requested not to be disturbed, found himself in a precarious position. His father's insistence and the spymaster's urgency left him in a state of worry. With Cinderella by his side, he reluctantly granted the spymaster an audience. The spymaster vehemently objected to Cinderella's presence in the meeting. He insisted it was a private matter concerning the king and should re Cinderella, a spy's story. The king sent me said the spymaster to the prince grimly. The prince, who had adamantly requested not to be disturbed, found himself in a precarious position. His father's insistence and the spymaster's urgency left him in